Today we are going to discuss compensated heart failure but before uh, we proceed we must summarize and revise the acute and chronic effects of cardiac failure these are the topics which we discussed in our last two lectures now we discussed that heart failure can occur or cardiac failure can occur due to a lot of reasons and the most important cause of cardiac failure is ischemic heart disease ischemic heart disease when the blood flow when the blood flow to the heart muscles is compromised for example this is a vessel and the blood flow to the heart muscles which is this vessel is basically supplying blood to the different parts of the heart and if a vessel which is supplying blood to the heart muscles is compromised this leads to ischemic heart disease and this is one of the most important causes of cardiac failure now once the cardiac failure occurs then there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of events which follow now initially there are acute effects of the cardiac failure and then the chronic effects and we are going to discuss uh, all these things with the help of this graph now in the normal heart in the normal heart the cardiac output is 5 liters per minute the normal heart is able to pump 5 liters of blood every minute this is the cardiac output and the right atrial pressure the right atrial pressure the pressure at the right atrium is 0 mm of mercury at this 5 liters per minute this is the normal heart this red curve this red curve is basically showing the normal heart and it uh, it is showing that the cardiac output is 5 liters per minute and the normal right atrial pressure is 0 mm of mercury when the cardiac failure occur the acute events basically leads to decrease blood flow decrease cardiac output there is a decrease in the cardiac output or the amount of blood that the heart can pump every minute so it can be shown with the help of this black color graph and which has been labeled as acute damage now the acute damage shows that as soon as the the damage has occurred as soon as the damage has occurred the functions of the heart has decreased the, the heart is unable to pump normally because the muscles have uh, are weak they are not receiving proper amount of blood through the vessels now cardiac failure can occur due to a lot of reasons but we are basically taking into account ischemic heart disease which is basically the most important cause of cardiac failure now due to decreased functioning the cardiac output has suddenly decreased due to the acute damage and it has been shown with this black color graph now we see that the cardiac output has dropped from this level this 5 level to around 2 or 3 liters per minute so the cardiac output has decreased to this level instead of this level it has been shown it is decreased to this level at the same time the right atrial pressure the right atrial pressure it increases from 0 to this 3 or 4 mm of mercury mm of mercury this is something which happens in seconds this happens in seconds now as soon as the cardiac output decreases the initial effect the initial acute events basically these are compensated by sympathetic system these acute events are basically sympathetic uh, are compensated by sympathetic system the sympathetic system which is basically originating in the brain and the spinal cord it activates the heart and it activates the different uh, vessels which are basically bringing the blood to the heart for example these blood vessels are taking blood from the heart and these vessels are returning so the sympathetic system will activate the heart and it will activate the blood vessels and due to activation the heart rate will increase the force the heart rate will increase the force of contraction of the heart will increase and due to contraction of the blood vessels the amount of blood returning to the heart will increase due to increased filling pressure all these factors will lead to increase in the cardiac output there will be a little bit increase in the cardiac output from this level to this level with the help of sympathetic activation and this is occurring in moderate cardiac failure these uh, these compensations are occurring in the acute uh, heart failure which is moderate if there is severe heart failure and the heart is completely unable to pump even a little amount of blood then uh, 
patient may die suddenly and there may be no proper time for the compensation by sympathetic system so this compensation occurs within uh, seconds or within few minutes so what happens after the sympathetic compensation is that the chronic stage starts and in the chronic stage there is fluid retention and recovery of the heart as the cardiac output has decreased the cardiac output has decreased to this level so the amount of blood that is going to the kidneys the amount of blood that is going to the kidneys it also decreases it decreases so basically what the kidneys uh, start is fluid retention fluid retention means there is decreased urine formation there is decreased urine formation and there is increase in fluid increase in fluid or blood volume now this is known as the uh, fluid retention because due to decreased cardiac output the, the blood flow to the kidneys have decreased and the kidneys have started retaining the fluid instead of excreting it in the form of urine now increased fluid basically helps in increasing the venous return because when more fluid is retained in the system although the amount of blood that is pumped by the heart the cardiac output has decreased but due to increase retention of fluid by the kidneys the total amount of fluid in the system has increased and the venous return the amount of blood or the amount of total fluid returning to the heart has increased so this ultimately leads to a little bit more increase in the cardiac output it leads to more increase in the cardiac output initially this was the normal cardiac output and with acute damage the cardiac output decreased to this point with increase in the right atrial pressure but in the acute event within few seconds there was activation of sympathetic system and due to activation of sympathetic system the cardiac output was slightly increased to this level it was increased to this level this level and at the same time the right atrial pressure the pressure at this level was also increased because normal pressure is 0 mm of mercury but uh due to a failure failure of the heart the uh the, the compensation by different systems are is basically increasing the cardiac output but at the same time the right atrial pressure is also increasing and after the sympathetic system the fluid retention it in elevates the cardiac output even more and it may even become normal when the cardiac output becomes exactly normal when the cardiac output reaches this level now it is become exactly normal or 5 liters per minute it has came back from this level to this level again this is known as compensated heart failure this is known as compensated heart failure because the cardiac output after decreasing it has been restored to the normal amount or to the original value so this is known as compensated heart failure and this compensation it has occurred in the acute phase with the help of sympathetic nerves activation and in the chronic phase with the help of fluid retention but another important thing in the chronic phase is recovery of the heart recovery of the heart what happens in the recovery of the heart is that there are some normal blood vessels normal blood vessels this blood vessel has this blood vessel was blocked so this portion of the heart was not receiving blood but there are some normal vessels these vessels starts making collateral to this area and this area receive starts receiving blood from this normal vessel which is known as the collateral formation so with the help of collateral formation the damaged area starts receiving blood from normal blood vessels and this area starts recovering and on top of that the normal areas this area is damaged this area is normal so the normal area starts increasing in size it starts increasing in size so that it can pump more forcefully and it can compensate for this damaged area so these two things the formation of the collateral blood vessels and the hypertrophy of the uh, normal areas it leads to the recovery now with the effects of sympathetic nervous system fluid retention and recovery of the heart the cardiac output has been restored to restored to the normal value or 5 liters per minute but there is still a little bit difference if you see 
the normal curve is red in color and this curve is above the 5 liters mark if this is the 5 liter mark the normal curve is above this 5 liter mark and this area this area is basically known as cardiac reserve cardiac reserve the normal heart the normal heart has some reserve it is basically able to pump 5 liters per minute and satisfy the needs of the body but if there if the demands increases suddenly the cardiac output can increase even above 5 liters per minute this is known as the cardiac reserve and in the compensated heart failure in the compensated heart failure this cardiac reserve is basically not present the cardiac output has returned to this normal level the cardiac output has returned to this normal level but the curve is still far far below the normal curve the normal curve is here and the recover the recovered curve is here so when this patient when this patient will start exercise when this patient will start exercise he will not be having the cardiac reserve so he will develop symptoms again he will develop symptoms again because the compensated heart the compensated heart is able to fulfill the needs the demands but is not able to provide extra or reserve blood or reserve nutrients when which are basically needed in exertion or exercise so that's all about the compensated heart failure in which there are some acute events and the, uh, the chronic events in the acute events there is compensation with the help of sympathetic system activation and in the chronic events there is a basically fluid retention and uh, recovery of the heart both of these factors which uh, basically uh, bring back the cardiac output from the damaged zone to the normal zone but even after recovery the heart function is still below the normal and that cardiac reserve which is basically present in the normal heart is uh, still lagging but even uh, in some circumstances if the heart recovers more even this cardiac reserve can be uh, recovered now what happens sometimes uh, some patients may develop heart failure and they may be just uh, their heart may have even recovered and they may even not know this thing when they start exercise they will develop symptoms they will not feeling uh, they will not be feeling any symptoms because their heart will have uh, been damaged so much slowly and it will have recovered at the same time so they they have not experienced any acute events they have not experienced any acute events or any sudden drop in the cardiac output but they have experienced it slowly in bits and pieces and at the same time there is recovery so their heart is is almost recovered from the damage and they don't even know but they are basically functioning at this level at the recovered level so they do not have the cardiac reserve because the damage is there but the damage has occurred so much slowly but that they are unaware of this thing so they get the symptoms only when they start exercise so that's all about the uh, cardiac failure and uh, the compensated heart failure thanks a lot for watching the video